Good morning once again and welcome back to Why in the Morning. Uh, you have heard a beautiful lady called Michelle. Uh, she hosted uh, Tabitha. She was Tabitha, yes. She was some uh, lady, good lady, talking about agribusiness. Nice stuff. I love listening to ladies who work hard. And before we had Morning Google, so we started this day on a very bright note. And as we had informed you, today is International Chocolate Day. So we are going to discuss something about chocolate. I don't know why chocolate is associated with love. We are going to all demystify that. I don't know why the fuss about chocolate, the value of chocolate, how it started, why chocolate, why not other foods. Uh, is chocolate food? We are also going to know that. But now I'm joined by very, very, very beautiful ladies here who are going to help us know about chocolate and other gifts and why gifts and all that. So you're going to introduce yourself. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes, your name please? My name is Priya Major. Mm. Yes. Uh, who are you? What do you do? Uh, your social media handles? Like, just give us a full introduction. I am a student at Karatina University, mm. taking Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Mm. Uh, I also act in films, I write books, I do graphic design, and that is all about me. Mm. Facebook uh, at Prayer Major, Instagram, Prayer underscore Major. Why are you called Prayer? <laughs> My mom tells me that I, was a her, I, I am her answered prayer. Oh, yes. are you the only child in your family or something? Or well, she just wanted a girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And now the major, major is your dad or something? No, uh, all of them are my names. Oh? Yes. Oh, both prayer and major are your names? Yes. They are beautiful names. Thank you. If you could see the names on social media people use. <laughs> oh, butilicious food. <laughs> oh, what, what, what. <laughs> hey, you them chicks, you what. But on your Facebook you still use prayer major? Yeah, it's prayer major. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Thank you. You're welcome to 854. I hope you'll enjoy the conversation and you'll uh, help us demystify all about this. Yes, sure. Ah, uh, we have another beauty here. Yes, yes. good yes. morning. Morning. Yes, my good name is Ouna Roslin uh, uh, Halai. Mm. I'm a student at Karachina University, mm. pursuing Bachelor of Arts in Criminology, mm. Criminal Justice, mm. and Public Safety. Mm. I'm a detective to be. <laughs> Which I'm level are you? Final year student, actually finished my coursework uh, uh, three days ago. Uh, now pending attachment, then graduation uh, come end year, inshallah. So right now you can detect the criminals in this room. <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> I'm told that you can identify criminal from physique, from how they are, yeah. they are created or how they behave. How they are created, yeah, basing on Cesare Rombroso's theory what? of criminology. <laughs> <laughs> We have different types of criminals and their Have you identified one? Have you seen somebody in this room who looks like a criminal? I sense <laughs> danger. Sense <laughs> danger. Uh, no, Michelle, Michelle, who hosted the last show, looks like a criminal. What do you think? Uh, she's a good lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a criminal. <laughs> Maybe we need to collect some intelligence to find out because nowadays criminals are sharp. Mm. They do their things so well. And. Uh, most interest, interestingly, people believe that ladies are not criminals, and most men are the criminals. What is your perception It's about a fallacy. It? Oh, ladies then are also criminals. Ladies, in fact, they're the most criminal, because no one thinks they can be. Mm. So they take advantage of that. Mm. I yes. read a story yesterday mm -hmm. where a lady uh, robbed a man, two ladies robbed a man. They were, they, they were going for photo shoot, so this guy had his camera and everything. So mm -hmm. these ladies post us as, uh, as clients. So mm -hmm. when they went into the bush, mm -hmm. these two ladies robbed <laughs> this cameraman, this cameraman of this everything, and they mm -hmm. went. So I wonder why things are changing. Oh, things are not changing, but the story is interesting because they were going for a photo shoot in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> this one man is too late, it's interesting. <laughs> okay, let's get into the conversation of this day. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy I have two of you, mm -hmm. uh, both of you are ladies. Yeah. Why chocolate? <laughs> Why chocolate? Why do you prefer chocolate? Why do you want to be given chocolate and not... Uh, from which part of this country do you come? From Western Kenya. From Western Kenya. Yeah, oh. County. And you? Wasin Gishu County. Was, was in Gishu County. Yeah. So why not Ugali? Because I know you guys prefer <laughs> Ugali. And why not Mursi? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with you. Chocolate. Chocolate in its sense. 
when you put chocolate in your mouth, it melts. Mm. The same way, when a guy gives you chocolates, it just melts your heart. Mm. It has that effect, you feel good. And mm. it is also sweet, so it is just an edible, an edible demonstration of love. Mm. Yes. So it's just that feeling that associates. Don't we have another thing that can sink like that, that can melt like that in the mouth? <laughs> and and no, no, chocolate is exclusive. What of ko? Una jo ile ko ya kitambo ile ya green, ile ya green ile ile ko na me. See you pe ina ina me. <laughs> you know, those of us who grew up in the village, uh -huh. if you could afford to buy a lady a whole cane, like sugar cane, like where I come from, there are a lot of sugar cane. So if you could buy a whole sugar cane for a lady, mm -hmm. uh, that was so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Those were uh, uh, them days, mm. like that was Kitambo. Mm. Right now, I think uh, things have changed. And most of us, in fact, in a, in a group of ten, uh, nine people would love chocolate as compared to any of those uh, cheap village thrills. Tell me your story about chocolate. Like, why do you think uh, people prefer chocolate? I think uh, people prefer chocolate to any Or I should zero into ladies. Why ladies <laughs> prefer chocolate? We prefer chocolate. I prefer chocolate because <laughs> chocolate is sweet. Many other things are sweet, but uh, chocolate has uh, some kind of value and mostly uh, in the world of romance, or when these are two people who are in love, would prefer chocolate because um, chocolate in itself, having so many sugars or a high glycemic index, stimulates uh, some pleasure. It gives you a mood, mm. a happy mood, because mm. it's an aphrodisiac food. So, having a high glycemic index, I mean, when you just take chocolates, you feel much better, and like when you take sweets, or you take me to roll music or uji. And you always <laughs> to compare chocolate and music. Like, always. But chocolate, so yes, it's a bit of a bit of a bit chocolate. a bit of a bit of chocolate bit of a 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 a bit of 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 a Speaking of value, you said chocolate has some value, but yeah. the way chocolate has a lot of value because mm. I'm told, uh, I did some research about chocolate, I was told that for you to make one bar of chocolate, mm -hmm. you need like the seedlings of cocoa, like 4,000 of them. Mm -hmm. And you know one tree produces around, just around um, 25,000. Mm -hmm. So for a whole tree mm -hmm. in a season, mm -hmm. you can produce roughly not even more than 100 chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. So it is expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Why do you guys like associate yourself with expensive gift? Like, must mm -hmm. a gift be expensive? Must some gift be expensive for? Okay, let me reframe it this mm -hmm. way. Must there be a big value mm -hmm. in a gift for mm -hmm. you to feel that you are really loved? No, 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 not really. Uh, the expensiveness doesn't matter. Uh, it is the heart that gives that matters and mm. in the context you're giving uh, what's the meaning of the gift oh that's what matters a lot so i can give you the cheapest gift on this you can one give me the cheapest and gift uh, but it means a lot it, it, it can just mean a lot a lot too. why do you what do you think prayer personally i think when you give an expensive gift not according to the amount of cash that you have but according to what you can afford if you can afford to give me a beamer why should you give me something that is not expensive? You know, whatever you value, you're going to invest your time, your energy, and your resources and your resources in it. So if you are you're able to afford something good, I don't see the reason for settling for less. Uh, so the, the higher, the better. The higher the gift, the better it is. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think that is materialism? Because you girls, you girls have been, have been accused That's of being right. materialistic. Can you defend yourself? It is not being materialistic in any sense. Uh, I it's like just the appreciating the fact that uh, somebody you value, you give something that is good. So it's not about materialism or anything. Just the value you put on somebody. Hmm. Yes, if you value somebody, you'll sacrifice anything for them. 
Those you've been accused, you girls have been accused of mm. being too materialistic. You commercialize love. You mm. attach love to material things of this world when <laughs> love is not tangible. Defend yourself and defend the girl child fraternity. <laughs> being a lawyer of a girl child, <laughs> I want to defend myself. First, it is an accusation mm. and it's an allegation. Mm. And people should come to terms with the fact that uh, different people are different. And being girls, we all have like uh, different ways of you know taking stuff and understanding our perspectives on different things. We have those girls who would value at uh, the fact that it, you are coming uh, dressed well, expensive gifts, taking them nice places, nice restaurants, and we have ladies who would not want you to do that just to win them, or mm. uh, because you think girls like expensive things, so you are coming in expensive or looking expensive so that to win them. There are some girls who really like someone who is real and genuine and like striving to uh, be expensive because they say girls like expensive things. So you think you may end up being liked with a lady because or maybe uh, how you are flossing. But don't you think you, because I was taught when I was young that mm -hmm. you should not ex, uh, take gifts from strangers. So you should <laughs> only start taking gifts when you have started dating. Mm -hmm. You are talking of like you should, uh, you can allow me in your heart if I give you a gift. It's that bribing. Should I bribe <laughs> you? <laughs> should I bribe you for you to, <laughs> to be my girl? Should no. I bribe you? Do you consider that bribing? It is absolutely not bribing. Uh, it all depends with your love language. Mm -hmm. So if you give a gift to somebody whose love language is gifting, that person will, will feel loved. Mm. Yes. Uh, tell me, in a, <clears throat> like one to five, mm -hmm. what you would prefer to be given as a gift, as a lady, by your boyfriend or by your husband? Um, I would prefer to be given a genuine intention as a gift. One genuine intention will come to that too. Number two, I'd uh, prefer someone who is real with me, someone who is true to self. You and are so virtual with your gifts, you are not getting <laughs> to material. I know what you are repairing, <laughs> because you don't want me to call you materialistic, so that is what you are repairing. Do you want to reach three, or how, how, much can you, how many can you count? Okay, in terms of uh, material, uh, I would like someone to gift me with something they really hold dear, yeah, to or them. something they value to them. Yes. Or something they have established, I really uh, need. Uh, For example, you? in my birthday, mm. what I tell my friends, yes. I always tell my friends, if you want to gift me, find something that I don't have, then, and I really want it, then uh, gift me that. You yeah. cannot be gifting me a tie, and I have more than 100 ties. It's not going to help. If I need a shoe, uh, maybe I have two or three, you can add one, it will make sense. Or just give me money as a gift so that I get what I want. I really don't want to get to you uh, much about your personal life, uh -huh. but now that you've mentioned a tie, uh -huh. the photo that we got that we used to make a poster, uh -huh. you had a tie, now you, had a, you have a tie and a coat, you, mm -hmm. you dressed like a real decent office lady or <laughs> semi-casual or semi-official. <laughs> um, something about it before we get back to what we're talking about today. Okay. Uh, about dressing, yes. it really describes your attitude and gives you the mood of how you feel. Sometimes when I wake up, uh, I don't just like plan a day before that I'll dress like this. Mm. When I wake up, the mood of the day is the one that I'll carry forward. Probably that's how I'll dress, just to feel nice about. So you are not always like this? I'm not always like this. You're sometimes in dresses? Not really. Dresses, no. You don't do dresses? Rarely. I, I can't remember. Oh, the last time I had a dress. That's story for another day. That's story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So prayer we are into you. Yes. Your preference of the gifts. My preference of the gifts. Uh, first, I'd love. Uh, <laughs> I love chocolates. Mm -hmm. So I your chocolate girl. This is yeah. your day. Yes, and and this is <laughs> Bring me chocolates, yes. you have it all. Mm. Allah. I, also <laughs> <laughs> I, I also So people want to you know what to do. You don't you know what to do with prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I also love roses. I love flowers. Mm. Yes. This one here is called Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why she's my friend. <laughs> you also love roses. 
I don't think I love roses. I have, I love lilies, a bougainvillea. Oh, but I love flowers. You love There's not roses. You both floral. You love flowers, both of you. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me why. It is very rare because I did my research mm -hmm. for ladies to gift men. Why is it not the other way around? Why are you just receiving? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you just about receiving, 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 receiving? Because it's rare. Mm -hmm. It's rare for a lady to gift her man. Uh, accusation, defend yourself, <laughs> defend the girl's child. I don't think it's rare. It's just that we are not fond of uh, gifting at an early age of a relationship mm. most ladies will gift uh will not give their boy gift their boyfriends mm. but will gift their husbands mm. that means uh, ladies are not uh, easy to give when they really are not sure whether they investing in they don't like betting we're not risking you are not, like, we're not risking it we're not gambling yes <laughs> 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 Adi to fit your place. Mm. Hey, Adi means I could buy a car. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it is possible. Mm. Hey, so the whole of this thing is perception. Yeah, like yeah, what you are telling see. us with criminology, mm -hmm. it's about perception that ladies don't give. It is just a notion. It's just a perception. Let's get to you. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the last time you gifted somebody with something? Yes. What did you give? I am sorry, but I bought a suit. Oh, when was that? A very expensive tuxedo. I've never even bought for myself. <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You're special. But I've never gifted uh, any other expensive gift lately. Uh, uh, yeah. When did you do this? It was sometimes back in second year. When was that? 2019, 2018. So the last time you gifted was 2019. Yeah. What you gifted somebody was 2018, 2019. Actually, 2018 and year. Uh, and year. Yes. Uh, and when were you gifted last? You. When you I've were given? been gifted recently with a friend. So it, it's like that was just investment. You've been paid severely. <laughs> no, the person who I gifted is not the person who gifted me recently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even tell yesterday, me. prayer gifted me. Oh, so it's not, no, we were talking about gifting girl to man. Oh, girl to man? Girl to his, to her man. To her man. Hey, yeah. hey not recently. What? <laughs> <laughs> so what we are saying is, is true, what is we are hard. saying is true that you guys rarely, in your story we are coming back, we are coming to you after uh -huh. her. It's true that you guys, like from now the typical example we have mm -hmm. here, everybody mm -hmm. watching, mm -hmm. that you guys rarely gift. No, we gift. We give. We just don't bet. We give when appropriate. So right now, there's no appropriate person to give to something. Yeah, there's no appropriate person to gift. Oh. In terms of parts that that is, but friends, any time, any day. Men watching, you've heard two things: <laughs> that one, Rose <laughs> doesn't have somebody to gift, and <laughs> two, and two, that she can <laughs> gift a jet. <laughs> she can give something as big as a jet. So. Do you are doing? What did you say your social media handles are? Your Facebook owner Rosalind Halai, Twitter Ben's Legal. Yeah, now you know where to find that lady. <laughs> where to find? Tell us your story. Uh, do you think ladies don't gift? I think it all depends with how the gift is received by the man. When you gift a man for the first time and he does not appreciate and he makes it feel <laughs> as if you have done absolutely nothing, trust me, I won't attempt. <laughs> Now you are making us like, uh, we are becoming a bunch of ungrateful <laughs> beings. Are men like that? They Some are. of them do not appreciate at all. Uh, yes. They think you are obligated to give yes. to them. Yes. Uh, <laughs> why? No, it's rare for men to do that, for ladies to do that to men. Now when mm -hmm. they do, don't you think we will be like, wow, no, oh, you do act. this. <laughs> ah. Oh, it will be no, plastic. It will be plastic. I like, well, like, okay. Why are you giving me this? Okay, what do you want? Hey. <laughs> you don't want any bribe. You're just gifting them. And by the way, see, you are that way. You, <laughs> we are not that you way. Are, you, if you do something, mm -hmm. like you DM me in the morning, you say, Oh, how are you, baby boy? How did you wake up? <laughs> the next thing that will come to my mind is, Who's a son attack a kid? Who's a son attack a person? So, a million of women are eligible. Hi, baby. So, son attack a person as seen. <laughs> so you do it with intention. So yeah. for you, mm -hmm. it's not easy to do because when you do it, 
uh, it's not appreciated enough. Me, it all depends. If you appreciate it the first time, I will do it continuously. Oh. But if it is not appreciated, I will stop. Prayer when <laughs> last, I must ask you what I asked us. When last did you gift a man? When last did I gift a man? Or have you ever gifted <laughs> a man? <laughs> we should start from there. Have you ever gifted <laughs> a boy child? Yes. Oh, yeah. when last? And what was it? I think we are concealing because you, you won't name <laughs> him. We are concealing the part that should be concealed. That, the part that should be covered that should not be revealed. Mm -hmm. So, when was this? The last time I gifted was last year. 2020? Yes. At the midst of Corona pandemic? Yes. What was it? It was a notebook. What? An executive notebook. <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> How much was that? <laughs> it, How much it, was it, that? It was expensive. A notebook? Yes. How can a notebook be expensive? It, it was can expensive. Can you attach a value to it, please? I can. A monetary yeah. value to it. It all depends on what the person loves. So you discovered this this guy loves an executive yes, notebook? He loves writing. Or writing? Yes. So and that was 2020. Notebook. Have you checked if it is now filled up? <laughs> So that you bring another one? Yes, I have checked and I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy another one this week. Oh, yes. so you are going to be Miss Notebooks to this <laughs> man? To this man? Don't you think you will be, you will be monotonous with yeah, it? I'll, I'll, I'll change. Yes. Oh. I'll change with time. When I, when I get more money, uh. I can even buy for a guy a vehicle. A vehicle? Yes, Fish. a good machine. <laughs> what do you think, Rose? <laughs> Well, but my things are made. buy my favorite. I'm happy you're calling it gifting and betting. Uh, but you were the people who like statistics. I love research. Mm -hmm. The people who walk out of relationships, most of them are ladies. Mm -hmm. So if there's something about betting, mm -hmm. then it is men betting, because you are the we need you more charge. Like nindium na achana, nindium na talk out of relationships. So do we say that if mm -hmm. every time I give you gift, I gift you, mm -hmm. then I'm betting, I'm gambling? Me, uh, because guys like betting, mm. and of course, if you don't treat me right, mm. I'll walk away. Mm. So the person who triggers mm. a lady to walk away is the man. Mm. Or if they're not having peace of mind in the relationship, sometimes you just uh, come to realize that this relationship is not working. Mm. Then you have to make sure you do something about it. Then if it doesn't work uh, at the end, there's no way to sing someone along for too long. Mm. So you better walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the value attached, you attach to your gifts like material gifts that are not consumed or even consumable. Mm -hmm. We can even get back to chocolate. Mm -hmm. Is there a way you treat that gift in a way like you can walk into a shop, mm -hmm. buy yourself chocolate and eat. Now if you are gifted this chocolate, mm -hmm. is there a way you treat it mm -hmm. that makes it a gift, that gives it value or shows that you value the person who gave it to you? and. Uh, Let's even get to dress because I was I read somewhere. I was doing as I was doing research to this show. I chocolate became number thirty five of the preferred gifts that ladies want. People prefer like things like uh, pajamas, some types of uh, to dress. shoes. I think it dresses. I think mm -hmm. it depends on also on the country, mm -hmm. but I think the Kenyan lady prefers money, <laughs> but if I'm not wrong, <laughs> we, will, we will get back to that. Let us finish with how you treat these gifts now. How do you treat gifts that you've been given by a loved one? Is there a special preference you give to it on handling, keeping? Like the dress that you've been given, when do you wear it? How do you keep it and all that? Yeah, of course. Um, for me, if you gift me, be it a chocolate, a dress, trouser, shoes, or anything. Uh, first, I'll believe uh, it's symbolic. Like the gift you're giving is symbolic. Mm. Uh, for love, care, um, happiness, or in appreciation of something I've done, 
something good you're congratulating me, gifting me. So of course, if I'm gifted by a loved one, I'll hold the gift so dear to me. I'll keep it well, and I'll make sure I appreciate the fact that you have gifted me. You have acknowledged what I've done, then you have gifted me. Mm. Probably I've done well in some projects, then you want to make sure you appreciate me mm. in a nice way, you buy me something that I like. I won't misuse it. In mm. fact, if you come to my house, mm. I'll have put it somewhere. Mm. The best corner in my house, mm. you'll find it there. Then if it's something to wear, I'll put it on and especially mostly when I'm with you, it shows appreciation because I know meva. Someone told me it is very wrong to give away gifts. Yeah, is it true? It's true. very wrong. We will get to that. We will get to that. Tell me your story about how you handle special gifts given to you by your man. How I handle gifts? Yes. Personally, I I always am very emotional when I when I get gifts. Oh. Yes. You must. Atalia. <laughs> mm, you must shed tears. Yes. Wow. So I I usually take care. Are there tears of joy or just remember something bad that happened? To you? <laughs> Not something bad. They are just tears of joy. Yes, like you shed tears at the same time you smile. Yes. Wow. Like I am so overwhelmed. Oh. With the kindness of this person. Mm. So that gift, whatever it is, whether it is chocolate, a dress or a phone or anything, I take care of it very well. Mm. If it is a dress, I only wear it on special occasions. Mm. I don't just wear it anyhow, and I take care of it. Mm. And I do not give away gifts. Oh. Yes. Ata ikatai kunitosha, nitaiweka. What will you do if you find me with a shirt you bought for me? You find my friend wearing a shirt you bought for me. I, I will be very mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're also not doing that. Like you've given chocolate and mm. maybe you do donate it to me. I can share. It's good to share gifts. Mm. It's not good to share gift, but if you gift me a chocolate yeah. and I'm with my friend, mm. I will share out of kindness. Yeah, because even cakes given and that generous. day, you can't consume it. It's alone, the because it was bought by alone. you or whatever. <laughs> 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 the funny characteristics of Kenyan girls, of, uh, of needing to be give, gifted with money. Mm. Tell me something about it. Mbona mnapenda pesa, wasichana wa Kenya. Like, I buy for you something expensive, and what you tell me, Sunge ni pea tu yo pesa ni jipange na yo, eh? Sasa, una ni pea yu na sina rent, eh? Ita ni pa rent? Ni me kupea, like ni metoa 20 Gs, ni me kubaya ya kitupoa. Alafu weo naona, ni nge kupea yu do. What is it with you, Kenyan girls and man? Eh, manzi, kitu ya kwanza pesa tu ni mzuri. Hii pesa tu na itadi. Sasa uki na kununua mabalu, miyakubi. Eru ni pea yu do. <laughs> anyway, most of the people say Ungini pay your pesa when it is something that really doesn't make sense. Mm, mm. Like you've bought me a lot of balloons, like hundred of them. Mm. It doesn't make sense. You could I have bought at least three, four, mm. five mm. and then the rest buy something substantial. Eh, something that maybe you'll see. Eh, alafu sometimes you think that Ume buy it what are Mtu mm. Like you think all girls love chocolate. Some mm. girls even don't eat chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, like they don't eat chocolate. Maybe for health things, reasons. Yeah, for health reasons or just their own make they don't yeah. like it probably. But they then, like yeah. white chocolate you have brought. You even don't know their preference, but you know girls like chocolate, so you're bringing chocolate. You're wrong. Like take time to understand the type of person you're dealing with, or the type of person you are in a relationship with. Establish what they like. Then if you bring that, it makes sense. And this brings me to But if you just show up in this, pink, is, you think girls love pink? Is it is it now right to ask a lady what she prefers to be given as a gift, or it should be surprises? Ensure you ask, but mm. ask wisely. Don't go at it, babe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
how should you say it? Educator. No. Boyfriend is watching. Educators, like how should we frame this question? If okay, okay, you've said you from your part you've said is it, it it's right to ask, but intelligently. Do you yes. think it's right to ask, Ross? It's right to ask if you cannot study and get to know uh, your girlfriend well. Do you like love surprises? I love surprises, but some surprises, man, say they can go wrong. So make sure you're banned. <laughs> 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 if I give you a surprise that maybe I think you need and you don't think you need, like I don't think you are reading uh, nice or you make grammatical mistakes, mm -hmm. then I gift you a dictionary. What do you think? You can reject my dictionary. If I know you are wrong with English, uh, you are off with English. Then I buy you a brand new dictionary. I say, surprise! <laughs> can you reject a gift even if it's not, it's not well for you? Can you reject, you can stand family in face of your mother and say, mm. thank you, but this one, no. Cindy, personally, I can't. Me, I can't. Me, I think you bamba, by the way. I love it when you have different <laughs> opinions. Tell, tell us why you, why you, you can reject, or, or and how you can do it. Kama sasa yu yako ya dictionary, yu na yu apana. Because, kiti ya kwanza, uh, I'm your girlfriend, Cindy. So you want to, you have realized my grammar is not okay. Yeah. Then there's a nice way to do that. Yeah. Then you thought of a dictionary. Then you brought it. For me at that particular time, maybe I don't understand why a dictionary. Why a dictionary? So, kama unaona English, yungu kona problem kiasi, at least, we tu ni ambi, hey babe, ebu watch uh, Willis the English master. No, no, evil. I'm going bring those <laughs> types of discussions. We can learn some really good English from him. Then we work together. That one is better. You don't have to go to the bookshop, come with a dictionary. I mean, cool wise. <laughs> yeah. <but. laughs> no, it doesn't necessarily mean that if I give you dictionary, then your grammar is wrong. Maybe mm -hmm. I just want to but build you. But you say that. You. Yeah, I just want to maybe to yeah, build you. Yeah, dictionaries. Mimi dictionary usinilete. Mimi takata. Mimi takata. Pray say that you cannot reject any gift. I cannot. Give it some flesh. Personally, before before somebody thinks of gifting you with a particular thing, anako amefanya background study, and I'm a sacrifice to give you that. Mm. So when somebody brings you a gift, and you say no, that will be a big blow first mm. on his self-esteem and he will also think that hakuna kitu wamefanya yeah. and the worst thing you want from your man is to, dem is to demoralize him mm. sasa utafanya aje but you guys even go to an extent of rejecting a, a, a proposal do, do you think there is a, a bigger heartbreak than that <laughs> like I organize like now with my workmates here mm -hmm. and then maybe I invite you for a show you're my girl and then I propose in front of TV then you say no. Girls <laughs> <laughs> do that. And that is the part where I that. tell you, uh, you need to make inquiries. Ata katikati ya jokes you ask, sasa babe, if I propose, uta, will you accept me? Because Mimi, you cannot come and propose to me when I'm not even sure we're going to get married. Mm. And I'm not ready. I'll, I'll definitely say no. What if you just accept then Mkienda Kandu say, I didn't want to embarrass you, but... <laughs> <laughs> but this is bad okidogo. <laughs> this is bad okidogo because it is wrong to embarrass somebody in front. I have seen her where somebody organized a very flamboyant proposal uh, mm -hmm. venture. And then the lady said no and things went haywire. Like everybody was there, uh, the mood leander two off. Uh, oh shit. Yes, the mood leander two off. But now we are almost finishing. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to tell me about uh, uh, gifting in kind. What do you think? Gifting, like, now not material things you were the one who started it like uh, maybe gifting with a treat mm -hmm. or gifting with uh, things that none are non-material mm -hmm. what do you think about it 
it makes more sense oh. to give to someone non materially yeah. because at the end of the day you're not going uh, to regret mm. uh, if anything happens maybe between the two of you because I think different people and this is the reality a uh, gift because there's a drive that makes them to do so there's an urge that makes them uh, to think of gifting you mm. uh, probably someone might gift you because they think by gifting you, uh, because it's your love language, they bring you closer to them. And some people will gift you because they think they are obligated to gift you as uh, maybe your partners. Mm. So gifting in kind, uh, we will not end up saying nilimbaya gari na bado wakaniacha. Yama nilijoin chama ya mama yake ndo nilipia mama yake chama na bado wakaniacha. Unona? Yama sijiu yo dem sijiu People say a lot of stuff, you know, mm. even on social media, nini, something has happened, you guys are breaking up, and there's a lot of uh, shit going on, everyone is talking about how they did this, how they did this, they are regretting, you have invested your feelings, resources, and everything, and it's not going to work out. Some people even force others to marry them when they don't want, when it's not something they want, because they paid their school fees. You know, people have done a lot in the name of love. Mm. Sorry to them. Because me, I don't think I can do really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Priya, tell us something about gifting in kind. Can you love it? I've seen you now, since we started this show, show as a lady who loves gifts and who receives them with a lot of appreciation and emotion. <laughs> you are romantic. Mm -hmm. So tell us about gifting you in kind. If something that is non-material, maybe just a treat. I think gifting in kind is, is very good because it helps strengthen your relationships. Mm. For example, when a guy gives you his attention, his affection, his time, when he's just there giving you non-material stuff, but being there for you emotionally, you're able to build your relationships as you can be able to connect more deeper than a person who just comes, brings you a gift and go. Comes, brings you a gift and goes. So you're able to connect at a personal level, understand each other's differences, and you're able to move forward and make the relationship better. Mm. Yes. Um, you look on point. Though you sound like you already have somebody. <laughs> 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 you, you, insinuate, you insinuate that you have you already have somebody in your life. So can I have your, um, you should advise men, uh, your, your closing remarks, advise men on how they should gift, what they should give. You be prepared for that. Let's start with you, prayer. Uh, personally, men, give to your girlfriends. Ensure you give them gifts. Lazima? Eh, lazima. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. that I say, oh, that material, mm. ni, 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 mm. ati materialistic, no, uh. gift them. It shows that you love them. Okay. Yes. Two girls? Two girls. Tafadali. Jari botas kumoja mami. Mnunulie. Atakama ni tai. Or something. Atakama ni just a pen. And so you gift him. It okay. shows that you care. Thank you. Yes. Rose. Yes. Uh, to both ladies and gentlemen, gift each other appreciate each other. Yeah. The small wins you make, either personally or as a joint union, as lovers, ensure you gift each other, you appreciate each other in the best way that they would love. Be sensitive while giving or gifting. Now, madam, atu gifting sana lakini tujaribu, but don't bet sana kama odds aziko ju. Yeah. <laughs> My friend is, 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 is asking if it is right to receive a gift from a stranger. Uh, no, yes. No. No to you. You? No. Gifting through a parent or a sibling, like I want to gift you, then I give you a mom. To bring for me? Yes. Then he says, receive this from Kayesu. Yes. I'll appreciate. Oh, you? <laughs> I'm <Or> not sure. <laughs> If you pass through my mom, I'll not be sure of your intentions. Let us <laughs> about you, about a stalker who gifts you, like just sending a gift and you, it's a strange. In you fact, don't know stalking is a crime. Oh. So, Oh, I cannot be, I cannot be gifted by a here. criminal. Oh. You are already, the fact that you are stalking me. Criminology is here again. <laughs> <laughs> it can never stop. Do you know that you are not a criminologist? I'll be suspicious, so definitely it's a no. You don't know even if it's coming from Osama yes, Bin Laden. Yes, maybe he wants to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you, the Karatina duo, for coming. Mm -hmm. I'll have to visit Karatina one day because it looks like a good place. It's a good it's place. Really good a place green to university. Be. It's, and it's in Nyeri, and both of you are from the western part yeah, of yeah, yeah. Kenya. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It looks so, nice. It looks nice. I from, wish it's we at had... the foot of Mount Kenya, so oh, wow. the view is amazing. You'll invite us one day. We come and <laughs> see. Invited. I've never set my eyes on Mount Kenya, so you will help me see Mount Kenya when I come to Karatina yeah, University. Yes, you can see it right from the gates or any point in the university. Yes. The beautiful top of Mount Kenya, because we're just located next to the Mau Mau trenches, and the Mount Kenya is there looking all nice. So wow. Studying in Karatina is a plus because you become an adventurer. This year won't end. This year won't end before I go to Karatina University and see Mount Kenya. We had a very fruitful discussion with the duo from Karatina, and that is prayer and rose. Names alone, wow, wow. Names alone, wow, wow. They are very beautiful. Very beautiful ladies I had on set today. And we had fruitful from experience, from everything. Everything was nice. So now you know that today, today is International Chocolate Day. So if you have a lady, you, they have said that they love roses. They really love roses. So <coughs> not roses, the chocolate. They really love chocolates. So get a chocolate for your lady today because today International Chocolates Day. We leave it there for now. Thank you for watching and thank you for being with us. Thank you for uh, your attention, those who commented. Everybody who are behind the camera, the production team, everybody who has made this com uh, possible, thank you very much. And um, we are coming back to see you off just to tell you bye. May God bless you. My name once again is Oguda Bradley Sankara Kayesu. Till we meet in the next segment, salute. You can wave. Nice.